In this next section, we're just going to repeat what we already did with the C chord and the G, but we're going to change the ending. Uh, I'm going to keep all the patterns the same. So here we go. We start with the C chord here. The first time we went from this open C to this G. The second time we're going to do everything again. G to C. So there I just held this G again. Uh, instead of my little finger being on the high E, it's now on the B string for this D note. I'm going to play the low E, the G and the B together. Um, I'm going to pluck the B then the G actually. Then I'm going to hit this first fret on the B string for the C note. And then I'm going to put the whole chord on and pluck it together with my thumb my first finger on the G and my second finger on the B, so... And that's it, that's your second ending, or second verse. The next section starts with the G major and then it goes to A. We're using the same string sets here, we're just moving the bass notes around and swapping first finger and second finger on the G and B strings to the B and E. The next section starts with a G chord and then it goes to an A. I'm really just using the same pattern again, but uh, I'm playing the low E, the B, and the G. So I pluck this low E with the B string at the same time, and then I come inside for the G and I do that twice. I only play the bass note once. Then I go to this A minor chord and I pluck, I change bass notes from the E string to the A and then I pluck the high E and the B together. So I'll swap string sets from the G to the B to the B, B to the E. Something that you have to do a lot in fingerstyle playing is just getting used to sometimes picking the same pattern but just switching string sets along with moving your thumb around. So we get this. So now I'm on the A string for the bass and the high E, then the G, B, G again and then I do that again this time I'm gonna add this uh, this F note on the high E string so and I'm doing all this with my first and second finger so so I pluck the low E and the B together then the G then the high E then the B so then I release my first finger for the, the high E. As I'm doing that, I'm switching to the A minor chord, so. And I'm doing the same pattern. I'm hitting the low A bass note, the high E, and then the G and the B together. So the same pattern just moved around. that high F, then we came inside and we did the A minor chord, so. And again. Then I go to a C chord, and I'm plucking the A bass note, the B and the G again. Then I'm going to play just one note with my little finger on the B string at the 3rd fret with the, um, the B, the D and the G I should say. So we get it. And then I just pluck a G chord with no little finger this time. So we get it. All together. That's something that I do a lot in fingerstyle playing as well. You know, working with patterns a lot. But also just plucking. I call it plucking because I'm not really doing a finger picking pattern. I'm just plucking several strings together, like the low E, the G, and the B together. 
good skill to get used to. So, so we have the C, just the open D string, the B, and the G with my little finger at the third fret, and then a G chord with just one finger. Low E, G, and B together. Like that. So, and then we're repeating the first section again. again back to C okay that's the last section if you have all those sections on the beat and you can play from start to finish then you're really not a beginner anymore and you're pretty much set up for fingerstyle playing now if you're thirsty for more at this point and you want to try an intermediate level fingerstyle guitar course then I invite you to try my paid course I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out I go into a lot more depth than I do in this course and really it's just the next step after this. If you've got this piece on the beat, you really are ready for intermediate now. So I hope to see you there and I hope you got a lot out of this course. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.